Well, good morning. Today is the 21st of September. It is about 6.30 this morning, and I wanted to do an update on Invest 98L and its potential for having an impact on our weather here in Roatan. I uh, wanted to start off by looking at the um, satellite from the past couple of hours. We see uh, the center of the storm is just a little bit northeast of Trinidad and the National Hurricane Service now has it at a 70% chance of formation into a uh, tropical uh, system depression uh, in 70% 70, uh, 70 in two days and 90% chance in five days. So uh, everybody pretty much expects this to become a named storm. Um, you notice here there's a certain um, tilt as it goes west, a certain tilt to the south. But when it gets over here, most of the uh, models as it nears Roatan are suggesting it takes a good turn to the north and away from us. Of course, that would be good. Uh, a lot of people are hoping we get some rain from this system, but obviously not a full-blown hurricane. So we'll start with the North American model, the GFS, and uh, we'll take a look at what it has to say for us. Um, this is perhaps the strongest of the forecasts, and I want to stop it right in here as it, at its nearest point, um, we've had several hurricanes to go this way. They give us a lot of waves and they brush us maybe with a few showers, but this is showing it what we call threading the needle between the Yucatan and Cuba, heading off into the Gulf of Mexico and it's forecasting 934 millibars. That's very low pressure. And just to give you an idea as to what that forecast is at its nearest point, uh, that's a high end category four hurricane, 146 mile an hour winds, if this were to verify, if this were to actually happen. Uh, of course, it's just one model, one potential possibility. And of course, the Gulf Coast of the US uh, needs to watch out for this one. Uh, let's take a look at our second often most accurate model, and this is the European model. This one has been the slowest to form it, uh, bringing us into Friday and Saturday before we start actually seeing the storm. Uh, most of the other models bring it our way about Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday. Well, here we are on Monday, and it's making it turn north and into the coast of Cuba. If this were to happen, this would affect us the very least. We might not even get a whole lot of rain out of it. Let's look at the Canadian model here. Next. And interesting, this one definitely shows westward tendency. Looks like it's coming at us, but then at the last minute, it moves north and up towards the very tip of the Yucatan, and one more, the German icon model. Very similar progression here. You see it trending towards us, trending westward, finally forming Sunday. And it taking that turn to the north as well. Let's take a look at, uh, yesterday we showed you a Korean model that showed it coming right at us. And today the Korean model also has the turn to the north where it uh, turns away from us. So that would be definitely good news. Um, this is the intensity guidance. Almost all the models show it going into the category three range at least, some of them up in the category four. Uh, I remember last year, about this time, a week out, Edna and Iota had similar graphs and uh, predictions for Category 3, and they turned out to be Category 4, borderline Category 5 storms in the end. So when they, when these storms get into the hot bathwater of the Caribbean, they often explode. So you can see these are, this is what we call the spaghetti models, all the different options of where the computers say this is heading, and this is the center line as to where it thinks it's going to come into Cuba. You notice over here, about half of them have it coming closer to us. Uh, even this guy, that's a worst case scenario for us right there. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Um, 
and this is the uh, GFS spaghetti track, a little bit more simplified, and most of them going into the open sea. So uh, action day next week, Monday or Tuesday, and uh, chances are good. It's just going to give us a lot of waves and maybe a little rain, but there's always a possibility uh, that it comes closer to us and has uh, a bigger impact. We will know more when it actually forms a closed storm, and uh, there's more uh, good guidance on exactly where it's going. But until then, we'll keep an eye.